about it. That's something else. They're so cool about little things like, you know, people wanting to take a few minutes extra and talk to them. And Robert will talk your head off. I mean, Robert spent the better part of like two hours talking to me. And he he will. He will talk your head off if you let him. You know, and he's one of the reasons that I like when the shows get him. Because if they haven't had him before, <clears throat> that, that show's going to get a lot of draw. Like, that was the first time that Scarefest had had Robert England there. And they said they weren't prepared for the level of celebrity that he was. So, I mean, yeah. People were in line for like, you know, 10 hours and still didn't get anything signed. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Shit is crazy. Robert shit is crazy. He's a huge draw, and uh, because of him, I'm pretty sure Horror Hound Indianapolis is going to suck <laughs> for us. <laughs> but it is what it is. I just want to say, no. when I met Rob Wiggins, I waited 30 minutes for his $30. Yeah, now he's 80. <laughs> It was so weird because, like I said, I mean, I just kind of went up there and just, well, because Robert had already known me for years and had already seen the book thing. So he all the time, he will, he will like walk with me. Like he walked with me down near arm in arm with his claw on my shoulder, telling me all this stuff about things that he was doing at home and how he was ready to, you know, go home and spend some time with his wife. And he's just, he is so laid back. I offered to take him and everybody else out for lunch and, uh, Mick took us up on it and, uh, went out with us, and then everybody else was like, we would love to go, but right now these lines, and it was all the lines for the Nightmare cast were pretty big. I mean, they were pretty pretty full. I was surprised, I mean, about how many people were there just to see the Nightmare people. I mean, Dee Wallace was there, but I swear her line didn't even seem as long as the Nightmare line. It was ridiculous. So I don't know. It's crazy now. Christy Swanson, you know, her line was pretty long. And the Mystery mm-hmm. Science theater people you know it was just it was a lot of fun meeting you guys was great because it's like you know my I'm wife like walked up longer. and tried to like talk to the children and do completely like ignored you for like a minute until she talked to the children <laughs> ah, i can't blame her my kids are pretty cute yes they are she's like i know those babies i was like you didn't really say that to travis she said yes i did i did say that like i said i know those babies i was like oh. <laughs> what's <laughs> Well, we were going to take Isla to Horror Hound uh, Cincy, but I'm glad we did uh, because it would have been a pain in the ass with all the uh, people that were there. I swear to God, it made me claustrophobic, and I'm not claustrophobic, but that amount of people that were there, it was just crazy. It was just hard to move. But uh, I've got to ask you guys, are, yeah. are the uh, at the Horror Hound thing, are any of the Jasons going to be there besides Ken Hodder? At, well, we don't know yet because only three people have been announced so far, and they really haven't officially been announced. It's just in their program that they had at uh, the uh, the the Cincy one. So it just said yeah. Nick Castle, Kane Hodder, and Robert England. We don't. Well, know I've been seeing people going to these conventions, and apparently now I wasn't aware of it because I've been so busy with the book and other things. But the Jason, a lot of them are doing the group photo ops in costume yeah. now. They did that at Monster Mania. Uh, in With Jersey, Ted White, man. Oh, my God. I love Ted White. He's just, he is still up there trucking, man. It's, you know, almost 90 years old, still up there trucking, you know? Oh Vic, you gotta, Vic, you got to tell the story about Ted White, your story about Ted White, because I know what you know, you know I'm, what I'm talking about. Uh, what, which one? The, the, Ted the White. poster. The poster. <laughs> And so last the last time I met him, I I had him signed by a Park Four poster, and in, in uh, general Ted White fashion. Or are you talking about the first poster? Because I got well, him we'll tell this story, poster. and then we'll get back to the the first okay. poster. Cause well, in general, the first poster. It, in general Ted White fashion, he signs it to Jason instead of to Vic because he's <laughs> Ted White. <laughs> <laughs> The first time I met him, which I, I tend to forget about sometimes, I have a Faces of Jason poster with every single Jason on it. Hey, man. And the first, the first person I have saw it is Ted White. He signs it <laughs> over the wrong Jason because he's Ted White. And <laughs> so I, I go straight to Kate Hodder. And he, he signs all four of his best or whatever. And he's like, Hey, Ted, yo, bastard, why'd you sign up with my best for it? And Ted's just like, <laughs> and then Ted's like, Ted's just yelled at him for like five minutes for signing the wrong Jason, because I was going to know who he was. So it was pretty amazing. That's the first time I ever, was that my first conviction? No, no, because that was Scarefest was our first Yeah, conviction. it was our first Scarefest. 
we met him at like Days or 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 Horror Ale. I thought, but anyway. oh, really? oh my, I don't remember. But yeah, it, it was pretty hilarious. So yeah, every time I beat Ted White, he always uh, he always fucks up a poster. <laughs> He 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 also signed the arm, and he was confused about why he was signing my arm. He he did a show for us, and he was really good once upon a time. Oh, he he was. For like an hour. Ted White is amazing. Everything about him is amazing. Yeah, yeah. I love Ted White. Uh, He was awesome. (laughs) Okay, so over the weekend, we'll talk about who we met. Now, we talked about the Soska sisters. They're the greatest. I mean, seriously, love them. We got to get them on the show sometime. Sweethearts. Uh, we also met, okay, well, I'll talk about me. I met Brad Dorf. I just told him to sign my shit and I moved along because that was a long ass line for, to pay for it. It was, man. Who wants that cut off? Yeah, we were fucking nervous. You could see the anxiety in Vic's face, which is funny because Vic's a laid back dude. Vic is chill. He's probably the most chill person I've ever met in my life. But his face was starting to get red. You could see his blood <laughs> pressure going up because you <laughs> What happened is we heard somebody tell Brad Dorf 15 minute warning, and like we're like, oh, well, we're fine, we're almost there. But then these motherfuckers all wanted to talk to him for an hour, take pictures, take yeah, every single person paid for a picture. They all took pictures. Quit, quit taking pictures. Like oh. we, we finally got there, and we were like probably one of the last ones, and then we ran away. <laughs> we're like, thank God, <laughs> and we took off running. <laughs> we're like, fuck this, yeah. and then we took all our shit to the car. Um, oh. So I was gonna meet Bigfoot, the, the guy, or not Bigfoot. He took he the Gimlin that Patterson is, film. Bob, Bob, Bob Gimlin, Gimlin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I went over to his fucking booth, and like he was standing there taking pictures in front of this background, this like nature background. And I look at his table, and I just wanted an autograph from him on like the Bigfoot, you know, picture or you know the famous footage, but like a famous picture of it. And, you know, it was like 15 bucks for a signature. And I looked at all his pictures, and every one of them is just pictures of him. And I'm like, motherfucker, I don't want a picture of you. And then <laughs> he's got this art, and it's Bigfoot art. And it's pretty cool, but it's like 40 bucks. And I'm like, I'm not paying 40 bucks for this. So I just walked away from him. I was like, yeah, no offense, but no. And then, let's see, uh, I met... Tom Holland, we were afraid he was going to be belligerent because he's old. And he did he direct Chucky, uh, Child's Play, or did he write it? He Tom he Holland told me, directed it. He told me he created it. He wrote creator on my poster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we, we thought he was going to be weird. And uh, it was funny because I got him to sign my Hatchet 2 poster, and he was super excited about it like because he never sees the Hatchet 2 poster, I guess. Because, you know, he was Bob in Hatchet 2. So he signs it. He was all excited, and he starts trying to talk to me, and I just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to talk to him. <laughs> I was like, I wasn't rude about it or anything, but I was just like, yeah, thanks. And I left because these people try to talk to me, and I don't want to. <laughs> I just want to go because I got other people to meet. And then, of course, I, I saw Danielle Harris again. She signed my Hatchet Tune <laughs> poster. And I like I I, uh, I said something like, yeah, last time I saw you, uh, my daughters were with me, and you had just had your uh, – kid and she's like oh okay and I was like oh fuck you you're blowing me off and I walked away from her too <laughs> oh, fuck really fucking hot though, as usual um, I wish you'd blow me off yeah I, I hear you buddy <laughs> <laughs> my I'm god I don't know how to say that but <laughs> and then uh, Vic who else did I meet somebody else because I didn't meet that many people no uh, I don't think so Okay, Holland, Daniel Harris. I feel like I met some. Oh yeah, yeah, I met Barbara Hershey, Blake. Oh yeah, she's. I got her to sign. Barbara my Hershey, and, yeah, from Beaches yeah. and from uh, the X Files, the miniseries that just ended. The uh, she was in there. Yeah. yeah. She yeah, signed great. my Insidious poster, and she was just like, "Oh, Insidious!" Like she had never gotten an Insidious poster. And I was like, "Thanks," and I left. And she seemed confused that I didn't want to talk to her. <laughs> I don't want to talk to these people. I don't give a shit. Uh, All these celebrities don't know what to do with me because, like, they think that everybody wants to do the shit that was annoying me, but not me. I just want to go away. I just want you to sign my shit so I can leave. So, that was my experience. And then we went to Rancho, what was the name of it, Rancho Grande? 
El Rancho Grande? Grande El Rancho? Rancho. That was one of the best Mexican places I've ever been to, buddy. It was good, man. It, it, the margarita was strong. They used like that top chef skill. I, I want to go again. I, yeah, I want to get like, I want to get like four of those margaritas. That was fucking amazing. But it's good, yeah. bro. Yeah, it's not that you couldn't have uh, more than just a little bit, but you know. Yeah, I got to drive on the way back, so I didn't want to kill us all and die. Yeah. So, we you probably would have. Even though, whenever we got back to town, I probably should have drove, but I did. So, it's whatever. Yeah, because your ass was passed out for a good 30 minutes there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't make you, but you were going to the boat. Did you go to the boat? Uh, Like at 10. Hmm. Corey still have the yeah. AIDS. Do what? Does Corey still have the, the AIDS? Yeah, he, he, his AIDS is stronger than mine, actually. Jesus Christ, that sucks. He's going to die. It's horrible. It's horrible. 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 Well, uh, I let the guy that had the guest say he was awesome. Oh, Blake, check this out. Guess who Days of the Dead Indianapolis just announced? Who's that? John Leguizamo. Oh, yeah, I saw that yesterday. That shit comes out of nowhere. What a fucking weird announcement. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love John Leguizamo. It's just random. Seems like he's too big, you know? Well, I felt that way when I saw Val Kilmer on that one. I was like, wait a minute. What? <laughs> I saw Val Kilmer on one last year. He looked rough. Rough, rough, rough. It was sad. Val Kilmer? Yes, he looked weird yeah. as shit, dude. And his yeah. face, he wouldn't even smile for people's pictures. And, and he was, yeah, he was angry as hell. <laughs> I, I hated that conviction. Oh, well, that's because you went there. Huh? Like, you made it angry. Uh, I was there. I was there. Yeah. All right. So, hey, uh, fellas, I'm off next week, which means we're probably all off next week. We're not going to do a show, so I apologize for our lack of work ethic. But we'll be back in two weeks with God knows what show because we haven't even talked about it yet. Um, but the point is, I'm going to Florida. I'm going to go to Disney World and take my kid up because I'm stupid. And they're right there. I'm stupid. I don't know anybody. You said it about me. I need a little R&R. But, you know, the story is that that, that um, uh, Hollywood Horror Nights is supposed to be getting the thing. And if they do, I'm going to have to find a way to go down to Orlando again in October and go fucking to that to that. Universal. I can't help it. I, I want to go. Do it. I want to go. Well, we'll see if we can make that happen, my friend. Yeah. Um, but do you, do you fellas? Uh, oh, wait, wait. One more thing before we leave this. I just have to talk about what I've been watching, you know, where my horror convention or where my horror adventures have taken us. So I, I watched Veronica. Uh, and this movie is getting a lot of hype. It's the uh, Exorcism. Oh well, possession movies on Netflix. It's it's Spanish. It's not bad. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen it. Yeah. Do you like it, Blake? It was good. Mainly the reason I watched it was because Nacho Diaz, the effects guy, was mentored by Bill Forsh, who is a friend of mine. I got that script from. Remember, I told you he got he used to work for Steve Johnson and uh, with Nick yeah. Vincent on the Howling and you know all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I watched it. I thought it was pretty good. But there's one other one that I saw that I like a lot. I think I like it a little bit better than that one. But we'll get into that. I'd give Veronica a solid three out of four. It was definitely good. Oh, um, yeah, for sure. And then I, I watched The Ritual also, and this was like the, I don't know, British version of Blair Witch Project without the shaky cam, and I liked it. My, it my wife is friends with the guy that wrote that book, and, yeah, we, they talked about it. and It's a good book. I haven't read it yet, but it's really good from what she tells me. Now, it's been a while for you guys who listen to the show religiously, which I feel sorry for you if you do, because I'd be confused if you <laughs> I'd be confused about this show. But anyway, so uh, I watched Puppet Master 1 and 2, and I like those. But over the last week or so, I watched Puppet Master 3. Good movie. Not bad. The, the series looks good. 1's good. 2's good. 3's good. And then I watched Part 4, and I wondered to myself, what the fuck happened? <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea four was so terrible. It didn't even fucking. It might.